hello, I'm Kath and um, I'm a willow coffin basket maker and I've been weaving for about 20 years. At the moment I'm living in the middle of a village and um, we've got this yurt in our back garden where, where it all goes on. Um, at the moment uh, we're making a willow coffin and we're using homegrown willow that we've grown ourselves and it's um, second year growth. Uh, the coffin takes about four hours to make. So basically we've just got a board, which is um, 18 mil plywood and I've just drilled a load of holes all around the edge. And then I've got, um, I think it's about six, uh, no, about 85 uprights. And I've just put them all in around the edge like that and put them up. And I've got this framework to hold them all up. Um, and this is buff willow and it's been soaking overnight. You don't normally need to soak it that long, but I do, so it's just easier. So it's soaked overnight. So I'm going to be using three sets of three rods because it's, <coughs> because it's such a big basket, you need to do three sets. So um, <coughs> the whaling is on, you do the whaling on all baskets. So basically it's just for this one, for example, it just gives, starts to give the basket shape and gives it strength as well. And you generally do it at the bottom of the basket and at the top, like that. So um, with a coffin, it's exactly the same, but obviously it's a bit more work because it's such a big basket. <clears throat> so I'm just putting my three bits of willow in. I'll put one bit in each gap. I'm going to start the weaving, hopefully I won't knock you. <laughs> so each piece of willow is going in front of two of the uprights behind one. And two behind one. Yeah, basically I'm just going round and round. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> And then this next bit of weaving, which is what we've used our own homegrown willow. This is called Harrison's Purple. It's a really nice willow to weave with. And um, I've done a little mark all the way around the coffin to, to a certain height. So you just weave up to that mark. next bit we're going to do is some whaling. I'm going to use some white willow and we're going to do um, a round of whaling and then we're going to put some rope handles in and I use a sizal rope for that. Um, so we'll weave them in. And then we will do another um, row of whaling on the top and then I'll wrap it down with a wrapping iron so it's all level. And then the last bit of weaving we'll be doing is um, randing where you just put one piece of willow in each gap all the way round. And then 
you put another piece in afterwards so that's called double rounding and then you just weave each piece round and round until you get to the height um, which I know off by heart now so I don't measure that bit And then we do a bit, a bit more whaling, the same as the bottom on the top, and then do a border to um, finish it off. And that will be the, the finished product.